a new series of the love readings. I'm going to do the love readings, the monthly love readings um, live online so that you guys can join us. I'm going to be leaving it and then um, you guys can choose um, your link to go to the zodiac sign. So this is the first time, the first love monthly readings that is going to start coming up. Okay. So thanks guys for joining me. Um, let's see what is happening. We are at the Librans. So this is the love reading for the Librans. Love reading for the Librans. Sun, moon, and rising sign for the month of March 2019. In the first week, the Librans have the courting man. The courting man has been coming up. And the courting man I see as a businessman. I see as someone who works in a office. You know, that's the courting man. You know, that's kind of a guy who wears... Um, the the jacket the suit guy okay let's call him the suit guy okay so in the first week some of you could be the blonde is coming out in the second week so we're just going to be looking at that and seeing what is happening because definitely okay so remember angels of love we're doing the deliverance um love reading i guess these are the people who are coming up so we're calling up on the angels in love what is coming up in the third week for the Librans. What is coming up in the third week for the Librans? What is coming up in the third week of March for the Librans? We have the Dark Man. So a lot of people are coming up for you guys. Okay. And in the fourth week, what are we going to deal with? What are the Librans going to deal with in the fourth week? You have the beautiful queen. Okay. So there is definitely, definitely a message here um, for you Librans. So a lot of you Librans, especially who it's going to be affecting, it's going to be affecting the court man, the blonde woman, and the dark skin guy and the beautiful queens. Okay. So obviously all of these people come out and you see, I did it on, 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 on camera. Um, all of these people come out. So what I'm going to do is definitely look at each person in each week to see how is it going to affect you guys. Okay. And I think dark would be African Americans, Hispanic mixed race. Not really. Cause I don't like that sort of a color thing the blondes would be if your eyes is green or blue you know that sort of a thing the court man is the man in the suit and the beautiful ladies are the young dazzling zero size of babies you know <laughs> so um that's the sort of a thing that i see that is coming up okay so um before we go any further we're going to be looking and seeing what the court man and the blonde has to do together there is a destiny for this court man whether and this court man is really a businessman okay and whatever his destiny is we're going to be looking at that in the first week we also have a short term so some would be dealing with someone who wears a suit but it was destined for you guys to meet, but it's not going to be long term. Okay. It was destined for you guys to meet. This could happen in the first week, second week, or third week, but it's not meant to be. Okay. It's, it's just one thing, you know. Uh, for the blonde ladies, um, you're going to be receiving a gift. Um, whatever this gift is, we're going to be seeing who you're going to be receiving this gift from. Because you ladies, um, blonde blue eyes but there is definitely obstacles there is some obstacles from for some of you blue eyed people or that sort of a thing and my excuses um whatever is going on is for the blonde people whatever that is okay now for the dark man soulmate this is a soulmate he is your soulmate so you men tinted color men you're definitely going to meet your soulmate. Definitely going to meet your soulmate in the month of March. Okay. And there is also a mature man that is coming up. So this is the man that is 45 years and older. Okay. Whatever the situation is, whatever that is transpiring, you're definitely um, going to be this mature man. Now, mm, the fourth week, we have the Ice King. 
Ice King, this is just someone who just want to get uh, in everyone's life. He could be someone in authority. Um, yeah, someone in the, the um, you know, government and that sort of a thing. But it could also be an Aries Leo or Sagittarius, okay? Um, the Iceman is always, always authority and that sort of a thing or for Aries Leo or Sagittarius, but it's someone in the legal, legal field also. So there we go. And the last energy is passion. Passion. So a lot of passion is going to be going on. Okay. So your outcomes of the month to you, Librans, is all about unions. Okay. So it is all about unions. It is all about what is going to be transpiring in your life. It's all about who you are as a person. How do you connect in your relationship? How does your your relationships, how do you look at your relationship? And this is really good because what is going to be happening is that some of you is going to be realizing what it means to be in a marriage or what it means to be in a union. If you are single, it is going to be as if, oh my God, you know, this is, I should find a relationship i should be in a relationship why am i not in a relationship i want to know why am i not in a relationship it's going to be that sort of a situation that i should be in a relationship i want i'm, I'm going so for the marriage people it's going to be um a time where you're like, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm actually really glad that I have a partner, you know, and for the single people, it's going to be, um, I think I should really go and look for a partner. I, I am tired to be alone, that sort of a thing. So that's what you liberals are going to be having. Okay. Um, yeah. But um, the effect is going to be on the men 45 years and older because you're coming up here, definitely coming up here. Men 45 years and older, you're coming up in the mature sense and also in an authoritative way. So the men 45 years and older. Okay, some of you liberals are going to be receiving a gift of love. And it's going to be from a soulmate or a twin flame that is going to be coming in. So the center of your reading and the message is that you Librans are going to be connecting with a twin flame or a soulmate. It's as if the universe is going to be blessing you with a soulmate. Okay. They're going to be bringing you together. Okay. And this is going to be good. Now, the men, um, the businessmen, I should say the businessmen, businessmen um, are going to be, especially the mature businessmen, you're definitely going to be giving a gift to a young lady. And this is a woman that you have met. I'm going to find out who she is, how you have met her. And um, you're definitely um, going to, you're going to be seeing um like as if oh damn um you know this is something i've never seen before now she could be a secretary but um you could be gifted her something and this gift is could be a gift of love okay but on the other side it could be someone who you like um this person could work for you or work for another company and you've met this person but definitely this connection is just a short term connection. It's not going to be long term. Okay. Um, um, some of you women, um, some of you young women, there is a block between you and your soulmate. Okay. There's definitely a block between you and your soulmate. And these are like people between the ages of 18 and 30, 18 and 35. There's a block between you and your soulmate whoever you are there's definitely a block between you and your soulmate okay um and the block um is caused by um a dark someone who is uh, uh we're going to be looking to see who um create this block some of you blondes <laughs> okay and here i, I, I it's just there you are going to be having, oh, you're going to definitely meet your, your soul um, flame and you're going to be bonded. It's going to be passion. It's going to be something that you have never felt your entire life. This is just going to be so powerful 
whatever is happening between you and you, this soulmate is the love um the connection is going to be so powerful oh my gosh and some of you blondes are in a relationship okay you're you're already in a relationship but you meet this young person and it could be a whole of mature man and there is just going to be some passion but it is not going to last because there's going to be obstacles it is a short term passion okay it's not going to be lasting it's it's just going to be a short term passion okay so we're going to be seeing what these businessmen um what's going to be happening in the first week second week and third week and fourth week to see how it's going to be affecting you guys so for the businessmen i'm seeing Ooh, your your wife is gonna be finding out about this relationship. So you businessmen that is um, having an outside, um, there's gonna be some obstacles in people relationships. Some of you are going to be having some up to obstacles. I'm gonna be seeing who or and who is gonna be having these obstacles. Definitely obstacles are going to be here for you, liberals, in the month of March. Okay, definitely, it's no question. There is definitely going to be some obstacles in the month of March. For you guys in a relationship okay so let's look at the businessman and as we look at the businessman what is happening here is that um, your wife is definitely going to be finding about finding out that you're seeing someone else okay it's not a question it is not a question the intuition of the woman is going to let her know that there is someone new in your life okay because you men wherever you sleep with someone else your clothes pick up the smell of their houses and their energy if you hug another woman their perfume always rub off on your clothes not only the perfume but the lipstick and she is going to be finding out what you have been doing so men your wife is going to find out what you have been doing okay some of you ladies your children could be saying hey mom I think I see my father somewhere and you're gonna say like no your father was at work and then your child is gonna say no I no, I saw my father somewhere listen to your child because your child is telling you the truth your husband wasn't where he said he was or your partner whoever he was wasn't where he said he was listen to your child okay okay there's a situation with destiny that is happening in this month for you Libra and something was destined to happen if a relationship is leaving in your life it was destined to happen let it go if um, someone comes in and said listen to me I want to end this relationship it's not going how it's supposed to go it was destined to go like that so let it go let it go let it go let it go nine of ones you're not protecting yourself you should have seen this ending coming in you are not protecting yourself you should have seen this ending coming in the ending of destiny is here for this relationship it was always always there you guys just never wanted to see it but it's coming in okay and that is for the liberals in the month of March so if you felt as if your relationship was a little bit awful yes it is some of you are going to be uh, I've met someone okay so some of you have met someone and you know that the relationship was not long lasting it you know the passion has left it could be a Pisces that you have met yeah the hermit is a Pisces or um, it could be a Pisces that you have met and you know it wasn't this this wouldn't last long you had a feelings that it wasn't built on solid ground and um, he's gonna walk away from you let it go it was just a short-term relationship whatever that you needed to heal with this first is a Pisces cancer scorpion um, the karmatic situation is ill let him go don't hold on on him whatever the situation is you know he gotta go let him go and I'm talking about someone who came into your life for a short time you could have met this person have a nice hot one night sand romantic thing and you you know you 
you don't know where you are with this person. They are just in it for, you know, a quick shot. And that was it. Let it go. Let it go. You don't need that. You're looking for true love. You really don't need that. Okay, you liberals. All right. Let's see the second week. The energy of the blonde ladies come up in the second week. And you could be playing the Casanova or you could be meeting this young man. Now, whoever is this young man? Um, uh, sometimes we call upon people in our lives and you could be playing the game. Welcome, New Zealand. This is a welcome. Welcome to each and everyone that is joining us. This is the love reading for the month of March and we are on the Librans now, okay? So whatever is coming up, you blonde ladies who are meeting, you could be playing the role of casting over that you have all these young men all around you. Be careful because, you know, whatever you give out, it will return to you. So if you're playing other people, you're going to be played. Okay. So remember, whatever you give out is that's what you're going to be receiving in return. So whatever it was, be careful because you could be played also okay so if you're playing someone be careful because you could be played in return okay a gift is definitely coming in some of you a new baby could be born if you're pregnant your baby could be born um but the gift that is coming in is very very positive because it's a new gift in a family and a baby is going to be born in the family okay some of you could be getting pregnant but this is more the energy of a baby is going to be born in the family babies are always give babies are always give some of you could be connecting with a pisces cancer or a scorpion man and he is going to be getting you pregnant <laughs> okay all right okay so it could be a, just a one night thing and you got pregnant that's a gift he gave you a baby you know <laughs> so be careful um if you don't want to be pregnant um and some of you really this uh, um um you could be meeting an older man um, and this is a really nice man. Um, he's a Pisces cancer or a scorpion and he's going to be, um, giving you something. He's going to give you the gift of a lifetime, which is always a baby, always a baby. Or he could be asking you to marry you. He could be introducing you to the family. Um, but whatever this gift is, is a gift of a lifetime that you're going to be receiving from a Pisces cancer or a scorpion. So you liberals remember this because it's going to affect a lot of liberals because it is definitely, um, um, in the middle of the, the month when this is going to be happening. So whatever is in the center always affect most of the people. And this is, this is really positive because this person, whether a woman or a man, it's a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion. They're really going to give you a gift of a lifetime, okay? All righty. We have some obstacles. Some of you are going to be having some obstacles in relationship. And the obstacles that are coming in the relationships are going to be ending, okay? So if you had some obstacles in your relationship, it's definitely, definitely going to be ending. So let's say that um you know it was hard for you to find a relationship it's as if you were blocked in finding a relationship that is going to be released and uh, um you're going to be releasing the blocks the blocks are going to be releasing because you can ask the angels of love to come in and release the blocks in your romantic life that is going to be happening and um what is going to be transpiring is that the seven of cups, you're going to be having a lot of suitors. A lot of people are going to be wanting to connect with you because your love life was blocked for some time and now it is being lifted. And now it is just so positive for you guys. It's just going to be so good. Okay. So for the people who were having blocks, not can't meet anyone, um, you know, you weren't meeting the right person and that sort of a situation, definitely these blocks are going to be lifted and it's going to be wonderful okay so that is so positive so good so unique what is going to be happening we're looking at the dark men and this is always the hispanics and the the tinted color the half bloods the half cast and um 
the half blood, you know, that sort of a tinted lecticular. Um, so this would be like um, for people like myself. And um, some of you are going to be meeting a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion. Okay. Now, this is all the ladies. So what you're having is a little cougar situation um, going on. And the cougar situation is that you're this young man and this older woman that is a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpio is so in love with you and she wants to be with you. Now, this little situation, you could be also a gigolo. So be careful. Um, and, you know, this lady really cares about you, whatever the situation is, but you're kind of protecting yourself from her. She's a Pisces Cancer or a Scorpion. And this situation is like, it's a little gigolo situation that is going on. So... <laughs> Um, she cares about you. She likes you. And you're like, Hey, I don't want you, you know? Uh, um, and you're kind of protecting yourself from this lady, whatever, you know, if you play a gigolo role, then you're going to have these old women connecting with you. Okay. She's just a cool guy. She likes you. <laughs> okay. Let's move on to the soulmate. So the center of your reading, you liberals, you have the energy of the soulmate. Now, this is really wonderful because some of you who have been looking for a relationship the last time, someone who you have met is going to be coming back to you. Now, this person could be a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion, and it's coming up as a Cancer. Someone you have met, you're going to be receiving a message from this person. They're going to be, this is a past soul life person. This person has been in your life um, in past life, or you could have met this person and then you realize there was a connection and you haven't heard from the person again. This person is definitely, definitely going to be coming back in your life. And what is going to be transpiring is that this person coming back in your life, what is going to be happening is that this person is going to let you know how beautiful it is and how you feel so connected to them. So if you're a Libra and, um, you know, you have known a Taurus Virgo, a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpion. It is more of a cancer person. You're going to be realizing that you, this is a soul family or a soulmate. Okay. Soul family can come up with friends, so can um, same sex, you know, that sort of a thing. But you are going to be receiving message from this person and you're going to be realizing that they feel the same way that you felt as if, you know, you guys are soulmates. So, um, definitely look out for this because it's going to affect a lot of you, especially it could be um, you met someone on the work floor and you realize, oh my God, I feel so attracted to this person. This is crazy. Why is this happening to me? It's because um, you guys are really soulmates and you know, soulmates you can meet in different ways, different, they just cross your part and that sort of a thing. And some of you are going to be getting them. Yes, it is a soulmate. Okay. Now, mm, mm, mm. the material man, okay? So these are the old Librian men. Mm, mm, mm. Now, this is the person that is on pension, you know, that sort of a thing. But he saw something that makes his heart flutter. <laughs> okay? And, um... Mm, 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 mm. Nasty. <laughs> so, whatever is happening, this man, whoever this, whoever this mature man is, um, he sees this earth sign person. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, and his mind begins to go wild about the things that he will do with her. And look at his smarty little smug face there. He's thinking all the things he could have done with her. <laughs> so you mature men, I'm really not getting in this reading with you. You know what's in your mind. We're looking at the fourth week for the um the Librans. The fourth week for the Librans. Okay. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Beauty, okay, you young ladies. Ooh la la, you're gonna be starting in a company. And you're going to be getting the green light in this company because baby girl, you're looking fun. <laughs> a 
Oh my God. Okay. Some of you could be starting a new job in a new company and you're definitely, definitely going to be getting the green light in this company because you're like, I'm fine girl. And okay. I know it's not nice, but sometimes people, um, who looks good get like, green lights it is it is how the universe is people i can't change it you can't change it it's just how the universe is but some of you liberals some of you liberals who are looking fine who starts in a company trust me you are going to be getting the green lights you're going to be get, you're getting like promotion and um it comes with something because so, whoever is giving you this green light and giving you this promotion trust me this person trust me trust me trust me this person you have to pay them back and it could be this um very mature man that saw you and is going to give you a chance but girl you got to pay it back cash or goods <laughs> okay so all right you older man now it could be um, law enforcement or that sort of a thing, someone in authority. Um, you need to find strength um, in this month with your relationship, okay? Because you're working, working, working. You could be spending all the time working and that sort of a thing. So you Libra men, five, um, four to five years and older, um, who are in law enforcement, that sort of a thing, you're going to be um, focusing on work. And what is going to be transpiring is that whatever the situation is, uh, um, I don't think that it's, it's going to be, um, you're really going to be having some um, um, problems in your relationship for, because of uh, the amount of time that you're spending outside the door, okay? So you're definitely going to be having some conflicts with your partner because of the amount of time you're spending and not at home, okay? For the rest of you who are in law enforcement and that sort of a thing, you might meet someone and um, it's very hard for you to find time to spend with this person because you're very busy, okay? So be aware of this. This is the liberal reading, okay? And we're nearly at the end of the liberal reading and the last energies for you liberal passion oh my god you're liberals okay there is a lot of passion for you liberals hot hot passion you liberals are going to be really partying some of you are going to be going to different different clubs and organization that you go and partner up and you're going to be having some fun you liberals so if you are a groupie or whatever that is don't even remember what they call them and you like to change partners and that sort of a thing um the end of the month i'm seeing a lot of you people really turning up the eat okay um, it can be also for just people who are just meeting your twin flame and having these hot, passionate relationship. Okay. You're turning up the eat. Some of you from this passion might realize that you're pregnant and you want to do an ab abortion. Don't do it. Okay. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. This is definitely, um, an abortion. You're throwing away something upside down. Uh, don't do it. Okay. Some of you, um, this could be hot passion. Um, and some of you could be connected with a Pisces cancer or a square, a, a, a Pisces or a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn is coming in and whatever the situation is, um, be careful what you do. Um, you know, with this off passion and everything, make sure it's someone of your own age, make sure it is someone of your own age. Ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Now, that was um, the love um, reading for the month of March. Um, I am going to hand this chat and then I'm going to do the hurt sign. So I will be still live, but I'm doing the different, different um, signs. So I'm going to end this chat and then I'm going to go over and start a new chat so we can do um, the hurt sign people for the month of March, 2019. Okay guys. So I'm not off. I'm still online. I'm just going to end this chat and go over and then do the hurt signs. Okay. So I see you guys over on the other side.